Well, the latest superfood trending in health food stores is actually a drink. Kombucha is a fermented tea that has healthy bacteria of the kind you'd find in yogurt. But in some cases, the drink can have a little kick you didn't bargain for. The same healthy crowd that embraced juicing is now all about the kombucha. At about $4 a bottle, it promises a host of healthy benefits. Digestion, proper nutrient assimilation, keeping that important balance between our good bacteria and our bad bacteria. Dana Urban drinks the slightly tart fermented potion. Does it taste good? good? I love it. Some people hate it. But enough people like kombucha to make it a $600 million a year business. Celebrities from Lindsay Lohan to Madonna to Halle Berry imbibe kombucha, which has a small amount of alcohol from the fermentation process. A little bit, a little bit. You can feel that sometimes. But government tests have found samples with more than 0.5% alcohol by volume, which essentially makes it a regulated beverage like beer. They regulate us. They checked once in a while to see to make sure that the non-alcoholic is less than 0.54. Wanda Lopez is a kombucha microbrewer in West Tampa who has no problem following the rules and believes kombucha is safe for all ages. Some bottlers label their product as containing alcohol to play it safe, and Village Market does require buyers to be 21 years old. It would be a pretty lousy way to try to get drunk. Oh, absolutely. That would be, you know, you'd get healthy before you got drunk. <laughs> Well, at most, kombucha samples have turned up with alcohol levels of 2.5 or 3% alcohol, less than a light beer. But there are other ways to get those healthy probiotics, including yogurt, kefir, pickles, even sauerkraut.